Hi guys, this is Kelly once again from Bond Machines and today I'll be reviewing the Veritas Automatic 8014-3 sewing machine. Okay, as always I would run through the features of the machine and also um, do some couple of stitches with the machine. Now um, please subscribe to my channel and if you have any questions you can also do that on the comment section. All right, um, it's a German machine and um, I think the model number is written okay made in germany 8014-3 now it has um, a double thread stand which is um just now that open here for twin needles all right and also it has this um interesting feature up here where you can actually alternate with the designs in the machine i'll walk with this in a couple of minutes okay um also it has um this feature here where you have the m4 tool and all that this for the middle right and left for the needle position and also it works with this here all right um right here you have the lever for the zigzag and the straight stitch okay so once it's on zero here you're sewing the regular straight stitch and once you go beyond this you're sewing the um, zigzag all right so that's the lever right here you have that for the stitch length regulator the four here being on the highest and you can also actually alternate this lever and the arrow here for the reverse okay tension as always and um right here you have the control for the feed dogs for free motion embroidery you can actually do this and snap that up like that okay now it uses the industrial size um shuttle and bobbin mechanism press like this all right and um also right here you have um the different type of needle uses i think um right here is the ha uses h a the db and the dp kind of needles also the machine comes with a front oscillator mechanism so you tread from front to back all right um you can actually use it with the treadle because the motor is actually connected at the back so you can actually remove this and use that with the treadle but for the purpose of this video i will not be using the treadle i'll be using the electric motor okay um i'll quickly show you how to wind the bobbin and i tread the machine and do some stitches with it all right and winding the bobbin is just um any other thread stand here you just put that here and make sure it passes through here and because you drop your bobbin in, make sure this place here snaps on there's a metal rod here so you just put that in and it snaps then from here you just connect it the thread wand, the little wand around it and you push that there so um, when you basically right, hold on I think okay, let's do it this way alright so You have it guys so that's how you wind your bobbin and when you're done you just snap that back and that's it now in threading the machine it's quite easy okay from here you pass it through this point here okay pass it through um there's i think about four different holes here so you just pass it through any of this one here okay then also um the tension you just raise the footer up so that the uh, thread can pass freely through the tension make sure it goes inside the tension then you pass it through the um thing the thread carrier all right then it goes snap here snaps from here then you thread from front to back okay so i'll quickly walk you through the process from here down to the hair here inside the tension comes all the way up to the thread carrier then goes down down then thread from front to back all right so i'll quickly thread the needle and do the stitches with the machine okay guys um i already threaded the needle now for the regular straight stitch like i said this has to be on zero and i'm using the stitch length four okay so when i sew through now So there you have it. That's um, the regular straight stitch. Um, so the lines, okay, that's the back. Okay, you can also um, reduce the stitch length to get a much more tighter stitch. All right, so when I reduce this, let's say I'm using number two here. So. Okay, 
so you notice how tiny the stitches are okay much more tinier than this now to sew the regular zigzag um you make sure that this you have here is on zero okay because there's this um there's this um pointer here and here so it has to be on zero zero okay zero zero then this is g this is seven so if zero zero here then you come all the way down here and you leave this on r3 okay this would be on r3 then here um, you just move this to four. Okay, I'll be using stitch length for um, level four and stitch length, um, let's say one. Okay, so when I sew through now, okay, so there you have it. That's the zigzag, that's the back. And there's the front. You can actually make the stitches the stitches tighter. So you just take that down to Alright, I think the shuttle try to step on, but that's the idea. This a much more tighter stitch than the first one. Okay, so I'll just change the shuttle, um, the bobbin thread, and do the stitches. But before I do that, um, I was able to get my hand on this chart. Okay, um, you can actually get this. Okay, so the machine basically can do um, this design with these features it has here. So um, I will just do some couple of the designs I have here. Okay, so but. And when you get the machine you can be able to try it out on yourself but i'll use this chart to do a couple of designs with the machine all right okay um so guys um working with this chart now i think i'll just do this 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 and this and just this okay so i'll just show you now um if i want to do a particular design i'm using three and zero here and also i'll be turning this to um um let's say i'm using the middle section for now okay this is m4 m2 so i'm using this one here and i'll put this lever down to four so i'm actually doing a design hold on okay okay so um when i change this now Okay, so I'll just um, take this down to this place and Okay, so guys Okay, we have a design different designs you know like I told you on um, this I can actually achieve more of the design but when you get the machine you can actually do that yourself 
Okay, so that's the review of the Veritas Automatic um, 8014-3 sewing machine. Thank you so much for watching and God bless you.